Good day everyone, or rather good evening everyone. This is Tim and I hope you can see me because this is pretty dark. Here I am in Seattle actually, just in a parking lot. And I'm pretty excited because I remember a while ago I was in LA and as good as all the food in LA was, uh, I remember one of the fantastic treats were the street tacos in LA where almost every corner you'll find some delicious goodness with the smoke from the grilled meats filling the air and I certainly indulge and I was really grateful because uh, my good friend Dan from Dan vs World got to take me around on a taco tour in LA and my favorite of the bunch was one that was in a tire shop and uh, that was really good and again really great to see people taking pride and care into what they do and really delicious here so I was a little bit disappointed because here in the west coast uh, in the uh, Pacific Northwest Seattle and Vancouver we don't get stuff like this we don't get the street tacos until now because do you smell it in the air <laughs> do you smell what Seattle's cooking uh, because it's just right up there. That is our first street taco stand and earlier it was busy and this is fantastic with the trompo being grilled and sliced and shaved just like those in LA and again this is a little bit of a different video a taco video I guess Seattle's first street taco uh, I hope you're hungry uh, let's get started <laughs> can't even speak let's start ordering oh gracias Oh, and that is looking so good. And as we approach the line, we can see all the great food that's in store for us. Oh, and all the awfully goodness with the cabeza and the tripe and all that wonderful stuff. All right, so lots to choose from. From the quintessential $3 tacos to the quesadilla to the molitas and the burritos. I think I know what I'm going to get. Yes, gracias. Hola, Villette. Hi. Can I get uh, four tacos? Al pastor, the asada, the cabeza, and the lingua. And this is uh, brisket. Oh, can I get the brisket as well? That's it. Okay. Uh, for here, please. Ah, gracias. So while we wait for our order, let's take a look at the hardworking folks there. And here's Jonathan making it look easy and showing off in the best possible way. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Gracias. Spreading out the tacos, Las Vegas dealer style. A bit of heat from the fires of the trompo. And a quick few scrapes to clean the grill on which a pile of cheese will sit on to form the foundation of a magnificent quesadilla. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Overfilling with the delicious meats. Fladio. Ah. And now the sandwich torta style. This is a grilled cheese like you've never seen before. Oh my god. A little bit of beef or a lot. And some greens. Oh. Grilled to perfection, and this is a torta, a grilled cheeseburger. Oh, beautiful, Jonathan. Las Vegas would be proud. And finally, our order is being prepared. Oh. And in a quick moment, our order is ready. Oh. Gracias. All right. Thank you. All right. This is looking so good. Okay, so let's top these off. A little bit of onions, a bit of parsley, some salsa. And a little bit of spice. And this is our taco platter. We better eat this while it is hot. Back to the car. 
So this certainly brings back memories of eating in a parking lot. And uh, let me show you what we have. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but that's the lingua. That is the al pastor. Uh, that is the al pastor, the asada. And I think this is the abesa. I will need to try the lingua first. Okay. Oh, full to the brim. Cheers to you. <laughs> mm. Oh. The lingua is nice and tender, tacos are soft, and the heat of the lingua is mellowing out the onions and the cilantro. Mm. And I remember Dan and Ivan, when we were there, could polish this off in a bite or two. I'm still learning. Mm. But moving on, I'd love to try the asada. And this is kind of the barbecue grilled uh, meats here. All right. And loads of veggies. Oh, I can feel the heft. Mm. Really nice, beautifully grilled, a bit smoky and the heat from the meat is warming up the onions and the cilantro, very herbaceous, and a bit of kick from the spice, bottoms up. Mm. I still can't do their two bite thing, but I gotta try this one next. This is another adventurous meat. This is cabeza, and this is the, um, the head of the beef or the cow and once you try it you're gonna get hooked and uh, I know it's a bit dark but I hope you can see how full this is and there is a heft to it and it's really the off cuts the lengua and the cabeza are the favorites let's give this a try mm. And aside from the taco, it just melts in your mouth. It is wonderful because the cabeza, a little bit of gelatiny goodness and a lot of fat and a little bit of meat. And this one I can certainly do in two bites. And finally, this is the al pastor. And although I can do it in two bites, I can't really talk. Let's give this a try. And this is the one where you saw Claudio carving up the trompo with the pineapple. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is grilled to perfection. Beautiful smoky char, some herbaceousness from the cilantro and the sweetness of the pineapple, delicious. Mm. And as good as everything is, it sure makes you thirsty. And it was great because Jonathan was showing, while I was waiting, he was showing us how to make the tortas and the quesadilla. I think the one thing he didn't show us is the molita. And I think we should find out firsthand. Come on, let's go. It's very nice to see people doing the same thing. And the line continues, but it's dying down. So this is pretty cool. When they're uh, running low and they're selling out, they just move it closer to the flame. All right, and as we wait, we can see burritos being made four at a time with Jonathan and the hardworking folks. They really stuff these. And here comes Vladio with the generous oh, toppings, overfilling, and then some more. A bit of onions and cilantro for freshness. An expert wrap, neat and tidy with a tuck. And a really beautiful tight wrap. Aluminum torpedoes of goodness. And we're almost up next. Valette is so busy. 
And so is Jonathan. There we go. Las Vegas would be proud. <laughs> hey, Villette, that was so good. Um, I want to try something else. What would you recommend? The quesadilla with the mulat, uh, molita? Uh, quesadilla is big. Okay, how about a smaller molita? Yes. Uh, can I go for a molita? Okay. Uh, what do you think? What would you suggest? Brisket. Sir? Brisket. Brisket. Oh, I got a brisket taco last time. I don't think I got it. No? I got five. I only got four. Yeah. Oh, great. Gracias. And a little thirsty. Uh, can I get something to drink? Can I go for the uh, purple drink? Hibiscus? Uh, yeah. Ah, great. Thank you. One taco. Oh, thank you so much. A little bit of onions, some salsa, cilantro, squirt of lime, a little bit of salsa. Oh, and here we go. This was our missing taco while we wait for the mulita. Oh, and this is the mulita? All right, I think the mulita is ready. Thank you again. All right. Not enough hands and people are having a good time. So that's really good of Jonathan and team and uh, lineups getting long. So we got to go back and uh, go to our fantastic dining area. Let me show you a beautiful spot that the Mazda 3. All right, a beautiful hibiscus, hard to say, but very refreshing. Mm. That certainly hits the spot. Very floral, not very sweet, and very refreshing. Mm. And before things get too cold, I gotta try the uh, brisket taco. The one that was missing and very kind of them to give me another one. Oh, very messy and uh, looks very tasty. Mm. Mm. This has got to be my favorite by far. Incredibly juicy, soft and succulent. And again, the wonderful onions and cilantro and the freshness of the pico de gallo. Oh, very nice. Mm. <laughs> Definitely not a two biter. And I'll get back to that. And it is messy, but I want to dig in to that mulita. Oh my gosh. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't see how Jonathan was making it, but looking at the quesadillas, there's like two or three pounds of cheese in here. So very, very healthy because of the calcium content. Oh, let's give this a try. Mm. That is just dripping with brisket and cheesy goodness. And the cheese is melting all over. So I know I am eating this wrong. And Dan, I can certainly use your help or Ivan. Mm. Mm. That's very good. So, mm. I'm going to continue finishing this up and also the taco and washing the hands and afterwards I'll wash the car. But the Molita is filling. And I know this is a bit of a different video, but I'm pretty excited to find Seattle's first ever street taco, just like the ones in LA. And their locations and uh, change from time to time. And in fact, this is kind of near uh, a parking lot or in a parking lot, as you can hear. So I'll leave the details below. Uh, this is Taco's um, Corada, I think. And my apologies if I'm saying that wrong, but I'll leave the details in the little subtitles below and I'll leave the general description of where it is as well because it changes from time to time. But again, thank you so much for joining.
and uh, again lots of work to do and until we see each other again I hope you're keeping well I hope you're eating well and I hope you're traveling well and I just need a bit more of the hibiscus drinks very slippery from the cheesy mulatta mm. very nice and very refreshing so thank you again for joining so until we see each other again uh, goodbye for now and uh, take care of each other and God bless.